guys, it's Liv. Today I'm coming back at you with another lunch ideas video. So this video is geared more towards kids, but if you want to make these lunches for yourself, totally acceptable. These are all great recipes. I would just suggest making more of each thing um, because I made sort of like a smaller scale kids version. Disclaimer, because I know whenever you talk about kids and food in the same video, all of the different parenting um, ideologies kind of come out and everybody starts arguing so I'm not giving you parenting advice I'm not telling you what to feed your kids but these are just some lunchbox ideas for parents who don't know what to pack in their kids lunch and are looking for some inspiration or for anyone who is looking for a little bit of inspiration for their lunch it's just suggestions and it's just ideas that people can use to go off of when they're kind of stumped for a kid's lunch. This is not like <laughs> parenting 101. I just wanted to make that clear. So the first recipe is kind of like sushi, but it's made of a wrap. So I know a lot of kids probably either don't like nori or would have trouble like biting through and chewing nori. So I decided to make a much easier to eat version with a wrap. So for the first box, you're going to take a star-shaped cookie cutter or any shape that you want and cut some cucumber slices into those shapes. Don't throw out the scraps from it because we're going to use that in the tortilla roll-ups. And I just find that kids love shapes and little things like that, so if you can cut as many things in these boxes into shapes as you can, then that will definitely be helpful in getting your kids to eat this. Also, star-shaped cucumbers are adorable. So then you're going to get a wrap, and I had a quarter of an avocado here that I'm just mashing, and you're going to spread a thin layer of that all over the wrap. And I added a thin layer of spicy hummus on top of it. Then I added some diced tomatoes. The scraps from the cucumber that we made, uh, that we had left over from the stars, and some sprouts. And then you're just going to roll it up tightly. probably won't work out as you can see mine didn't stay together but all the rest of the rolls did and then just put those into your bento box then I added in the cucumber and three bliss balls and the recipe for the bliss balls will be in the description for the other box, I put in some diced strawberries, some sliced carrots, chopped yellow pepper, um, as you can see we are making a rainbow, <laughs> some kiwi, blueberries, and some red grapes. was based on Lunchables. If you guys ever had Lunchables, I'm sure you did. I don't know if they have them in other countries, but definitely if you live in the States or Canada, you remember Lunchables. They're these little plastic containers that are kind of like a bento box. They have little sections and each one has either like mini hot dogs or mini pizza things or like mini cheese and crackers with like ham and anyways. And then in another one, there's like a little chocolate bar or nerds or something else like that. Well, this is kind of based off that. My friends always had the pizza Lunchables, which was basically just like a mini pizza crust, and it came with a little packet of sauce and a little container of cheese, and they would like make mini pizzas, and I was always so jealous. So when I thought about kids' lunches, that's what I thought of. So that's kind of where the inspiration for this meal came from. Okay. 
Okay, so for the mini pizzas, you're going to need a pita or a wrap or even some slices of bread that you roll out with a rolling pin. And then you're going to use a cookie cutter or a glass and a knife and just cut out some circles. And these will be the crust for the pizzas. Then in the smallest container, I'm just adding a few tablespoons of pizza sauce. And then you're going to put the toppings in the other side. So I'm just doing cheese because this is kind of a recreation of Lunchables, but if you wanted to do veggies or anything else, you can definitely put those in too. So now we're going to make the caramel sauce to go with the apples. So you're going to add in a handful of dates, a splash of water, and a tablespoon of nut butter to a high speed blender or food processor. And then just blend it until it's like a smooth caramel consistency. Then just cut up an apple. I find that Granny Smith's work the best um, with the caramel. Then just put the apples into your bento box with a few tablespoons of the caramel dip and I topped mine with some chocolate chips and coconut to make it a little bit more fancy. I made is just kind of a different take on regular old sandwiches because I think these are way cuter it's really awesome to just have like bite-sized things that kids can just easily eat and they don't need like, cutlery or anything to eat with so yeah you can do any kind of sandwich that you want but these are just the two types that I came up with and the rest of the box is just some little snacky foods that I think will be appealing to kids So to make the sandwich strips, I had to cut the tops off my bread because it didn't fit the width of my bento box. Then I just spread some vegan mayo onto each slice of bread. Then I added some lettuce, tomato, and these coconut bacon bacon bits from Pete's Fine Foods. So this is like a vegan version of a BLT. Then for the other sandwich, I used cinnamon raisin bread. So I spread some almond butter on it. You can also use peanut butter or sunflower seed butter. And I added some sliced banana. Then you're going to cut your sandwiches into strips and put them in the bento box with the middle facing up. So I actually made more than I needed, but it'll all just depend on the size of your container and how much food you or your child wants to eat. Then I just added some strawberries and some blueberries. In the next box, you're going to take half an avocado and just mash it in the skin. I just like to do it in the skin because it saves a bowl. Then you're just going to scoop it into half of a little container. And in the other half, I added some spicy hummus. added some red peppers, carrots, and yellow peppers to make kind of an ombre gradient little rainbow effect. And in the last part I put in some coconut and mulberries, some sunflower seeds, some cashews, and some chocolate chips and I just made a little trail mix with that.
you guys enjoyed that video. I'm gonna be making a ton more healthy lunch ideas videos, probably most of them in a bento box because I just think it's really cute and it's super easy to pack. Leave any suggestions you have below. Some people have already left some requests they have. I hope you guys are excited to see some more. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.